All right, guys, so now that I've actually thought about it, um, like I said in the last video, we're gonna go ahead and take this headlight out and reseal it. Um, so I need to take the front bumper off anyway, and I actually ended up having another longer um, new style tube um, to go in the grill because this one is actually a little short. So as you guys can see, see how right over here the grill is like dark and it's very bright right in here and then it kind of gets a little darker down in here. So there's like no light over here and it looks kind of funny in the grill. It's not like completely lit up good. So we're actually going to take this longer one that I have right here and it'll fit in there and we're going to switch that out and then go ahead and take the bumper off um, and do that headlight as well for the next video. Um, so I figured that will be faster than doing the side extensions and then we'll make those another video. But I have those lit up too right now for you guys so you can kind of see. See how the light's like right here. We're going to make it to where it's all the way across now. So that'll be the next video we'll do and I'll do a full video on that as well. All right guys, so we got all the um, bolts and stuff undone and the clips taken off up here. So before we can take it the rest of the way off the car, we're gonna go ahead and clean off the pool table where we can put it on right here. Cause the other thing that we gotta do is as you can see underneath here, we have a custom made splitter and we need to mock up some stuff for that too. All right, so let's buff all this stuff off the pool table. All right guys, so now that the pool table is clean, we're gonna go ahead and bring the bumper on over. All right guys, so we got the bumper off over there. So now I'm gonna show you guys the light bar underneath here. So it's actually mounted to this front bash bar um, and we just zip tied it. We didn't use the mounts because, you know, the zip ties are easier to go around and we didn't actually wanna drill into that. So there's the old one. And as you can see, it's just going from right here to right here and the new one right here will go all the way across from there all the way down to there so let's go ahead and it's just the perfect size to where those air dams don't get in the way so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this one down and we're going to mount this one up and then we're just going to run the wires like we did before all right guys so we went ahead and we cut off the zip ties that was holding the old one up and I went ahead and I cut all the zip ties off the wire too, where it runs up behind here and then goes down back there where the other one we just ran goes to. Um, so now I've got this one laying up here out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this one up here and then start running the wires back and then pull the old wires out and then put the new wire in. So we got it good and mounted underneath, as you guys can see. So now we're going to go ahead and do like what I said before. We'll take the old wire out from the other one and then run this one up in the old one's place. And this should give us a lot more light. So after we run those wires, I'll actually just set the bumper back on here so we can see what it looked like. All right, guys. So we got our new wire ran up to right here and we've traced the old wire to right here. We put this little bread tie around it so we know which one it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tie the green string that we used before last time to this one so that way when we pull it out we can tie it to the new one and pull it back through so we're going to go ahead and tie the string to there now and we actually just got it done so there's the string tied so i'm going to sit in here and push it out this way while my dad is pulling it from here and again guys try to work together with whoever you're working with so like if it gets snugged or anything the person on the inside can kind of push the usb through the hole and then the same thing out here don't like start pulling really hard especially when because this one still works i mean it's still good so i don't want to mess up this wire so don't be like jerking on it as hard as you can because you could pull the wires from inside this coating apart or anything and mess it up so just kind of be easy and it should just slip right through one thing i actually had forgot to say in this video um the videos actually kind of got out of order a little bit um, because i was supposed to show you guys the install of the um, underglow that we put over top of the strut bar first and I went through of how we ran the wires a little bit better in it that video will actually be next Tuesday um, so you know this video might be 10 weeks old now and you can go ahead and watch that one too but on your passenger side of a Scion TC there's actually a little cutout 
if you'll open up your glove compartment and pull out your glove box um, and you'll actually you can reach back in there and there's um, some of that foam padding insulation back there you can actually pull that back and there's actually a hole there and that's where we had ran all of the underglow wires through so if you're kind of wondering where the heck are they putting the wires at that's actually where we're putting them through at um, so that'll actually be explain better detail in the next video next Tuesday but I of course got out of order and um, we're just gonna go ahead and put this one out first now all right guys so we got the old one pulled back out so we're gonna go ahead and tape the new one on that's right here wherever it went where'd the new one go yeah the new one right here and then run it back through all right guys so now it's inside the car again and as you can see we've got them turned back on and here's the one down here turned on so now i'm going to show you the way we ran the wire so it's coming up through right here as you can see we put it on this ac line we zip tied it right here ran it through kept it low down in here it's actually kind of hard to see through here and then right here the black wire is going up we'll actually push them back down in there a little bit better so those black wires running up to here there it is we zip tied it back there run it right up through with these hard lines through here turn it around and then we zip tied it one more time right there as you guys can see and then we've got it running through back by itself and no more zip ties so that's how it's ran so now i'm going to go over here and grab the bumper put it on for you guys so you can see the difference and then we'll close the video out all right guys so now we got the bumper back on and as you can see there is a big difference so there's no more shadows over here anymore or right here looks a lot better so hopefully when we get our turbo kit and stuff in um, in the future you'll be able to see the intercooler really good from this light and it'll look really cool so I'll go ahead and I'll show a side-by-side -side right now. I'll show the film from the very beginning of the video, and then I'll show some of it now. Alright guys, so I hope you've seen how great the side-by-side -side comparison was and how big of a difference that made. Um, the old one didn't really look good at all and I noticed it like when I was, I had seen some pictures of my car and I was like, hmm, there's like a shadow there. So I looked underneath there and I thought maybe there were some lights out, but there wasn't. It had just been where, you know, it wasn't covering that whole grill. So I really hope this video helped you guys out in case you want to do some um, underglow or anything like that. To your engine bay um i'm an old style guy i kind of i mean i love the fast and furious movies when i was a little kid um, the next build i probably won't do it on but where this already has it i just want it to look as good as it can um, and i like to see little kids faces like when you drive by them because they're like holy crap you know that's a maybe a fast and furious car or whatever you know a hot wheels car to a little kid so i just like uh, making their day a little bit better um so anyway, I hope this video did help you guys out. If you have a TC or another car, it should help you guys. Um, again, a big shout out to ledglow.com because they have basically like half sponsored me um, and helped me get a lot of these lights here on my car. So a big thanks to them. Um, but anyway, guys, I really hope this video helped you. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and we'll talk about the t-shirt giveaway now. We're actually gonna be giving away five t-shirts and the reason we're doing this is because we finally hit a thousand subscribers so thank you to everybody and all your support um, so the t-shirts I'm actually wearing it right now on the front of it as you guys can see we've got my signature my town when we were established and then of course the slogan which is build your masterpiece and then on the back of it we've got the car if you can kind of see it on here um, and that drawing was actually given to me by sketched illustrations here's his instagram right here um, so go ahead and give him a follow he actually you know drew that picture or we wouldn't have had it for the back of the shirt um, so this shirt is actually a baseball tee so it's got the three-quarter sleeves or the half sleeve whatever you want to call it and you kind of got to roll it up because um, these are actually kind of coming back in style and i kind of like the dual color on it it kind of makes the logos and everything pop a little bit better and then on the bottom of it it's actually rounded off so this is pretty much what the shirt is going to be like it's a really cool shirt um, 
of course you'll get your size and everything like that so the way we're going to do this is all the rules and stuff I'm actually going to talk about on Friday because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to give away two of the t-shirts yet um, but each there'll be like task is basically what it's going to be and uh, make sure go ahead and if you hadn't hit the bell beside of the um, subscribe button go ahead and hit that so you can get an email as soon as I pop up a new video because it's really going to be very important and critical that you're one of the first people to watch the video because within the video I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to say go do this task or like go like this picture or go comment um, t-shirt winner on the bottom of one of my pictures on my Facebook or Instagram basically and whoever the first person is that does that uh, I'll contact them and we'll get their shirt size and stuff so it's going to be very 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 important that you have those post notifications on so anyway um, and then another one that we might do later on that's why I'm not sure exactly the rules yet is we might have um, if you share my video um, or if you you know share the link to get more people to subscribe well, that'll actually enter you into the giveaway at the end and we'll put like everybody in a list and we'll just randomize it kind of like some of the other giveaways they do um, but anyway so this is really cool and um, just make sure you're telling your friends about the channel and stuff because it'll actually allow me to do more giveaways like this um, the reason I'm doing this is because I do appreciate you guys so so much um, I wouldn't be able to do some of the stuff to my car um, or be able to have this much fun with my car if it wasn't for you guys so thank you again I really hope that you like this underglow video um, we're actually going to be doing finishing up the demon die wiring this Thursday and then Friday we'll break down all the stuff for the t-shirt giveaway and um, hint hint that might be the first t-shirt giveaway so make sure your post notifications are on but anyway till then guys I'll see y'all later peace out and remember build your masterpiece